Hi everyone, I started off this project with a welcome sign I picked up at my local Big Lots. It measures 7 and 3 quarter inches by 31 and a half inches. I removed the metal embellishments using a small flathead screwdriver. I also removed the raised lettering off the sign. Please be careful when you do try and remove any of the lettering. I found that there were tiny metal brads in the sign where all the raised letters were. And unfortunately, I did nick myself. So please be careful when doing this. Once I removed all the brads, I used a sanding block I got from the Dollar Tree and gave the entire sign a good sanding. I used a foam brush and Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster to paint the entire board. It took two coats. Be sure to let each coat dry in between. Once both coats of the plaster were dry, I used Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and did a dry brush method over the entire board. When that was dry, I used Waverly antique wax and did the same dry brush method. I found these napkins at Target and fell in love with them. They are three ply, so you have to remove two ply off the colored section of the napkin. When you do this, be careful not to tear the color that you want to use. As I started to remove the ply, I figured it would be a little easier if I cut the napkin in half first. That way I could use one side for each ends of my board. Once I had the plies removed, I laid the napkin down to figure out where I wanted it placed. And then I used Mod Pod Matte Finish. Working one section at a time, I laid Mod Podge on the top of the board. I placed my ruler down, measuring five and a half inches from the corner. That's where I wanted my napkin to stop. I gently placed the napkin on the Mod Podge using very light touch to tap it down. Once I felt it was secure, I took a piece of plastic wrap, laid it over the top of the napkin, and using a brayer, I rolled out any remaining bubbles. Once I couldn't see any more bubbles in the napkin, I took off the plastic wrap and put a top coat of Mod Podge over the napkin. If your napkin is wet enough on the edges, you may be able to tear the napkin off. Don't worry if you're afraid of ripping it, totally understand. You can always wait and sand off the edges once it's dry. As both ends of the board were drying, I decided to move on to these little signs I got at the 99 cent store. Enter if you dare, and welcome to our web. I started by pulling off the hangers and the beads. I'll use those on a later project. 
Now you can either try and take them off with a small flathead screwdriver or just pull them off. Just be careful not to pull too hard as you can damage the cardboard on the back. Once the hangers were off the back, I used the same Waverly chalk paint in the color ink just to paint the edges of the, each sign. If you get a little on the front, that's okay. It just makes it a distressed look. When the Mod Podge was fully dry, I took an emery board and in the grooves of the board, I simply gave them a quick sanding. Once I was done with that on both sides, I took the sanding block and gave it a light sand on the edges to get off any bits of the napkin that were remaining. Next, I took these tumbling tower blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree in the game section and I hot glued them to the back of each sign. Now you can paint them if you like, I didn't, I just left my natural. I then took a ruler and from the bottom of each napkin measured two inches and hot glued those in place. I found this spider web ribbon which has a wired edge at the Dollar Tree. I decided to make my bow with this. I measured out for my tail and pinched the center. I created a loop, pinched it in the center, created another loop, pinched it in the center, measured my loops to make sure they were roughly the same height. If they're not, you just readjust your ribbon. Once you do that and you have it in the size that you like, you cut the other end to create your second tail. I used this white jute cord that I got at Big Lots, cut a section off, wrapped it several times around the center of the bow, and tied it tight. Once I finished tying the jute, I folded the ends of my ribbon and created a dovetail on each side. Once your tails are cut, it's time to glue down your bow. Remember to use your finger protectors. I get mine at the Dollar Tree. And there you go, you have this cute sign. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share and like, and remember to follow my page at Jenny of All Trades. Take care, stay crafty, and we'll see you soon. Bye!